Welcome to the Nicholas 11X12 technology. Today we are looking at this week's SC0157.1 PCI sound card. The box is not big at all. Right there, once again, it's a Sweex product and it's a 7.1 PCI sound card. And this is how the card itself should look like. Not to forget, it comes with a 12 year warranty. Yes, you heard right, 12 years, that's pretty good. It will not only work for 7.1 audio, you can easily hook up a 5.1 or 2.1 audio system as well. Now inside the box is another box. Right on top you get the nice letter from the founder and owner of Sweeks called Leon. In the end it says, Dear receiver of the box, from the bottom of my heart I wish you a life full of happiness, peace and well-being. Thank you Leon. Here's the sound card itself in an anti-static bag. Underneath is the driver CD. So here's the sound card. It's not big at all since it's not a graphics card or so. Here you have all your 3.5mm jacks and even one coaxial SPDIF out. If you haven't already seen it, a beautiful matte black PCB is used for this card and it's using the PCI interface. Don't mix that with PCI Express. There are also some headers on board, just in case you'd need any of these options. Right here is the audio codec by the way, which is powered by the C-Media CMI8768 PCI 8-channel audio codec. But now let's move on to the specifications. This week's SC0157.1 is an 8-channel 7.1 surround sound card that is using the PCI interface. It offers one mic in, one line in, four times line out, one SPDIF out and the audio quality is 32B. Once the driver and the card itself is installed you will get a little icon in your system tray. When you right click it you can choose from some options like open, volume control, windows media player, sound recorder, multimedia properties or exit. I'll click open. And this is the main window under the main setting tab. From here you can choose from different system inputs like 2, 4, 6 or even 8 channels. But if you don't have a 7.1 audio system you could still use the 7.1 virtual speaker shifter feature. Then just enable a DSP mode and now you can set up the preferences. At the bottom you can change the output mode. Under analog output you can choose from different amount of speakers or the headphone. Also, you can choose from 44.1 or 48kHz digital audio. For the SPDF output, you can choose from PCM and SPDF in loopback. Under the mixer tab, you will see two volume tables, one for playback and the other one for recording. For example, I'll click that little hammer down here and now I can choose if I want to have microphone boost enabled or not. I want it enabled. Under the effect tab you will get lots of options, first one is environment for example, but we will get to that later on. On the right side is an equalizer, you can set that up manually or you could also use presets. You can choose from default, dance, bass, treble, live, rock, soft rock, jazz, metal, rap, classic and vocal. You could also save your own preset. You could also set up your environment size. On default it's on medium, but you can choose from small, medium and large. Under the karaoke slash magic voice tab you'll find some cool tweaks for the microphone. Like adding an echo effect, key shifting or voice cancellation. Under the information tab you will see clear details on the audio codec and audio driver version. And now I'd like to make you hear the different environment effects. Enjoy!
Alright, and now I'd like to make you hear the different equalizer presets. Now let's try out a microphone echo and magic voice effect. As you can hear the echo is enabled. When you drag the slider to the left where it says low, the echo effect decreases. But once you drag it to the right where it says high, it increases. And now to the magic voice effects. Right now it's on default. Next one is the monster preset, which is my favorite one. Next one is cartoon, which sounds kind of funny. Next one is male, and the last one is female, which doesn't work with my voice. Next I'll show you key shifting and voice cancellation. This week's SC015 7.1 PCI sound card is a great choice for those that need better sound quality than the onboard motherboard sound. For the price it offers great audio quality and even features nice optimizations, enhancements and effects. Pros are great price performance ratio, good audio quality and it has lots of enhancements and effects. For the cons I have nothing to say, I give this sound card a 9 out of 10 and definitely recommend it. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.